The fall from the jetliner really did a number on your neuro hub. I can't believe I had to reconfigure it. All the progress you've made with your augmentations. Lost. I'll be fine. I've already started relearning the basics. I'll be using my augmentations at full strength in no time. I suppose so. Still, it's a miracle that you survived. You and me both. You did as much to hurt them as I did, but they're still looking for us. And the moment we stick our heads up, we'll be spotted. They're after us because they're afraid of what we know. We can expose them, Ben. We can get justice, not just revenge. I know that, Luke. What's your plan? We've got pieces of the puzzle. We just need to put them back together. Think back to what you found on the plane. Namir said he had assets in Bell Tower, the private military contractor. That's where he found me. So they're embedded in the world's biggest private military contractor. This gets better and better. Operation Rainbird went down in Queensland. It was a strike mission, part of the Australian oil conflict. And Namir was there to pull you out of the ashes. Exactly. He had everything in place. So we know the tyrants have major assets in Australia. That's a start. I've been scanning the net, looking at Glass Curtain, Conspiracy Crew, all the activist groups. They talk about the tyrants. They have profiles, but no one takes them seriously. You think people will listen to us? Ben Saxon, broke down squaddy. Anna Kelso, federal agent turned fugitive. There's always someone who will... Listen. <laughs> Anna! Damn it! Where are your meds? Where's the neuropathy? Ben! Help me. The seizures... I can't. It hurts. Well, yes. That is to say, neuropazine is one of the many drugs which can be used to treat this syndrome. But neuropazine is the only drug most of us have heard of. Neuropazine, or Nupose, as many people call it, produced by the Versalife group, has enjoyed very strict patent enforcement, and that has scared away competitors. But with the new initiatives being put forward by the Biological tissue and inorganic mechanical systems. When I met Ben, he had just defected from the tyrants. Killers without principles or compunction. They were assassins working for some mysterious, powerful organization. I had no reason to trust Ben. At this point, they had already damaged my life. But there was something honest in his eyes. He wasn't really one of them. 
He was just a soldier following orders. while you're here. You're the one who wanted to do this, Hannah. Well, just go in the other room or something. All right, all right. Right. So, Agent Ryan, Matt, he wasn't just another field agent. Not to me. He was... The tyrants gunned him down at Logan's Circle. I lost him. I guess that's part of the reason I asked Ben to stay with me. I can't lose him like I lost Matt. Quite serious? Indeed. Returning now to our interview with noted human augmentation expert, Dr. Isaac Tiven. Thanks. It's my fault. I waited too long between doses. And I know why. We're almost out. Without a supply of new pos, this will happen more often. Our augmentations will malfunction. Janice is supposed to find us a new source, right? I don't trust anyone else. I haven't spoken to our hacker friend in months. Then I guess we might have to tough it out for a while. No, I'm not going to put you at risk. I'll contact Janice now. Thank <laughs> you. 
Janus, are you out there? Hello, Benjamin. It's been a while. Are you and Miss Kelso safe? For now. But Anna's sick. I mean, we both are. We're running out of neuropazine. You're not the only ones. The neuropazine shortage is getting worse. Augmented people everywhere are suffering. Can you help us? It might be time to start looking for alternatives, Benjamin. An alternative to neuropazine? I don't have any sources that can supply you directly. The risk of exposure is too great. You're gonna have to pay a visit to the doctor. I can't go to a limb clinic. If I use any official channels, they'll track me down, and Anna and I will be on the run again. I understand that. I have a contact for you. An underground doctor who operates in Panama City. His name is Alvarez Araujo. He may be able to help. Tell me about this guy, Alvarez. Can I trust him? His past is shady. He used to be a doctor, but now he operates in the slums. It seems he has something of an altruistic streak. The poor and desperate turn to him when they can't get help elsewhere. I know how they feel. I may need to upgrade my augmentations. I don't know what kind of trouble I might get into out there. You'll need a Praxis kit for that. But your mechanical augmentations can be enhanced at any time if you have one. And you won't have to blow your cover visiting a limb clinic for an upgrade. Panama's a dangerous place. I'm gonna need some equipment, some protection if I'm going there. The city is rife with black market contacts. Providing you have the money, they'll be happy to sell you what you want, and it won't be traced back to you. Okay, I can take the maglev line straight into the city, and then I'll track down our man. Thank you, Janus, for everything. You'll pay me back one day. People always do. Good luck, Benjamin. I keep having these nightmares. I see ghosts of all the men who died under my watch. Sometimes I see Sam in the darkness, chained, moaning, tearing at his orgs. He was a friend. I couldn't tell his family what happened, not all of it. Hell, should have been me who died, not him. So what did he, or she, um, I mean, what did Janice say? I'm gonna see a contact in Panama City. The maglev train leaves in an hour. You're going out there? I should come with you. No, it's too risky for us to go out together. You stay here, stay safe. This place is off the grid, no one knows about it. You know me. I'm not exactly good at doing nothing. Then don't. You've still got contacts you trust, right? Use them. See what you can dig up about Namir and the tyrants. And what about you? Who's gonna keep you safe if I'm not around? Don't worry. I'll keep a low profile, be discreet, and only use force when necessary. All right, Ben. Stay in contact on the info link. Tell me what you see out there, any clues you find. I'll do the same from this end. And promise me one thing. Name it. Don't get yourself killed. We've only got each other now. Anna, do you read me? I'm in Panama City. How does it feel to get back into the world? A breath of fresh air, huh? 
I wouldn't exactly call it fresh. Just try not to draw attention to yourself. So who is this guy you're looking for? Dr. Alvarez Araujo. I'll let you know when I find him. Shit, huh? How the hell are we supposed to get by around here when the gangsters control everything? Word of advice, Bana, stay away from the slums. Some gang bangers called up in a building there. I'm claiming as their turf now. Try living here with the gangsters. We'll see how long you last. Mi hermana, she's been telling me how this city is getting overrun with criminals and gangsters. I didn't believe her before, but now she might be right. Hello, okay, gringo. You're looking for some action or something? I heard some new black market drug is being passed around ever since the gancho. Coincidence? I think not. Black market drug is being passed around ever since the gang trade. Coincidence? I think not. I used to live down by where Rio Dorado was until those skulls started churning up the place. Soon as I saw that happening, I knew I wasn't gonna live there anymore. know what's worse. The gangbangers hold up in these slums, or those cabron oaks who keep heating up the dirty cleaning. Uh, no offense. Shit. Why don't the cops ever do anything to fix the slum? It's not like no one knows that the gangbangers live there now.
advancing. Nightshades is ready. Even worth coming down to this shithole for. Okay, so pa, loco. That's a nice looking augmentation you have there. <laughs> With a shiny arm like that, I, I bet you can't afford anything. <laughs> Rising lives up to its hype. This is Eliza Kazan, reporting to you live from Picus. <laughs> There may be new hope for those unable to afford Versalife's increasingly pricey augmentation drug, Neuropazine. Up-and-coming pharmaceutical firm, Sapphire Biotech, claims its miracle drug, Rising, Access will definitely the lives of those suffering from augmentation rejection syndrome, a condition known as DDS, while simultaneously bringing some much needed competition to the anti-rejection drug market. Initial public reports show users of Rising experiencing a comparable reduction in glial tissue buildup to those taking neuropazine, but at a fraction of the cost. Sapphire is keeping its manufacturing secrets close, causing some to doubt the legitimacy of the drug altogether. Others question the thoroughness of the company's tests and the speed of which Rising is moving to market. 
Isn't the view beautiful? Nightshades is the club near the waterfront. The price for a drink is more than I make in a week. the last time I saw him, and that was days ago. Gangs, they got better weapons than the police. You better watch yourself. They've got the sky train running 24 hours to keep up with our increased population.
This place used to be nice. Safe too. But with the gangs and the tongos, <laughs> you can't tell the difference no more. Dizzy spell. I'm fine. Be careful.
Keep walking, Og. You ain't welcome here. Shit's about to get real, Mento. Back off! There is a doctor. Arias, Arujo, something like that. Runs a clinic around here. He might be able to help you. You take the dope, you get sick, and she comes, man. She comes, and they never see you again. Dr. A picked me up off my feet more than once. Speaking of which, do you know if you got any more of the stuff? Bulto, unless you got some new paws, I don't got the time. Researchers working for the Versalife Corporation announced that they have found Are a you getting some work done on you today? Using microscopic nanite robots. By That's a crazy arm you got there. I'm aware. How many the credits did you pay for it? The virus from replicating and begin the rejuvenation of T cells needed to run immune systems. Amazingly, researchers were able to see increased those are some serious argumentation you are using. Yes, who are you? What do you want? I'm very busy. Dr. Araujo, a friend sent me. I heard that you might be able to help someone in my position. I might be able to help a lot of people. So, out with it. What do you want? I'm suffering from DDS. 
If I don't secure a reliable source of neuropazine soon, my augmentations could kill me. Hmm. By the looks of you, you're in the advanced stages of withdrawal. No wonder you're sickly. But unfortunately for you, I don't deal in neuropazine anymore. No pose is in short supply and the margins are just no good. There's got to be something else. I heard there was an alternative to neuropazine. What do you know about that? Well, you're smarter than you look. VersaLife has tried to eliminate all the competitors and anti-rejection generics. But there is a new drug available from Zephyr Labs. The new hope, as it were. It's called Rhizine. Rhizine? Tell me about it. It's like neuropazine? Yes, in fact, it's virtually identical to neuropazine, but cheaper and not made by VersaLife. And believe me, VersaLife is not very happy about that fact. They try to suppress it, keep it out of the lean clinics, try to sabotage the drug trials so that no one can get it. They want everyone to keep taking neuropazine. So Rhizine isn't available legally anywhere? Not yet, Hefe. But it's only a matter of time before Zaphire has it approved by the WHO. And then I stop making money selling it. <laughs> okay, I want a month's supply to start with, and then regular, untraceable deliveries for as long as I need it. Meto, Pana, I am not a trafficker. I treat anyone who comes in that door, but that's it. If you're still interested, I can administer a dose now to treat your symptoms, but no more. Okay. If it gets me back on my feet, that'll do. Ah, a man who embraces his destiny. Like me. Hold out your arm, please. The fleshy one. Ah, just a moment. There we go. Ah, oh, that stings. Yeah, that's better. Works fast, yes? No more seizures. But for how long? I need to secure a supply for myself. And a friend. It sounds like you need more help than I can provide. I can put you in contact with someone at Lim. I can't just walk into Lim. I mean, I don't want anyone to know who I am. I need to keep a low profile. That's why I came to someone like you. Someone like me? <laughs> Please, I am a very resourceful man. I have in my possession a Lim preferred client card linked to an anonymous RFID. Using this card, you can access all of the services of a Lim clinic including as much neuropazine as you can afford, while remaining safely anonymous. That's if you deserve it, of course. What do you want for it? Name your price. Answer me this. A man is cast adrift with no family bonds, no old friends, and no morals to guide his actions. What do you call him? A man who is free to do anything he pleases. Ha! Ah, not many would see things as you do. I can tell you're seeking something important. You're on a mission, eh? You can take the card. I've always been too generous for my own good. Talk to Dr. Cardoso at the Lim Clinic downtown. She runs the place. She can make anything happen. But I must warn you, she's a tough woman. So be polite. Thanks.
Access granted. Access granted. Announced that they have found a method of curing AIDS in mice using microscopic nanite robots. By identifying and destroying HIV virus particles, the nanites are able to stop the virus from replicating and begin the rejuvenation of T cells needed to run immune systems. Amazingly, researchers were. I need your help, please. What's the problem? My boyfriend Luis, he's been missing for weeks. He started working for the Skulls about a month ago and now he's gone. I tried to find him but nobody wants to help a Nupo's rat. Can you look for him? Can you find Luis? If I'm gonna look for your boyfriend, I need more information. Tell me about Luis. He's ex-military, with augmentations not so different from yours. But his body never accepted them, and he got addicted to the drugs. Wasn't really a problem until the shortage. That's when Luis had to pick up work with the Skulls. He didn't like talking about what he was doing for them. But they paid him in new posts, and we needed a steady supply, so I didn't ask. But now he's gone, and without him, I don't have a new post hookup. Okay, I'll help you. You will? Thank you. Luis has military-grade leg augmentations. That should help you spot him. Anna, it's Ben. I met with the doctor. Looks like the neuropazine shortage is worse than we realized. But I found an alternative, another drug. Something called Rhizine. It seems to do the same job. You took it? How do you feel? Better. First time in days I haven't had a pounding headache. But I only got enough for one dose. 
so I'm going to the local limb clinic to track down some new pills. I have a contact there. Be careful. Limb runs ID checks on all of their clients. If they figure out who you are... Don't worry. I've got it under control. Real, man. Good Go luck. Back off. Thank <laughs> you. 